Do I sound like Patrick Warburton? I'll take it. I can't do a good Joe impression, though. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, and indeed, well, this is this is it. This is the run. Uh, do I have a video stream you customize my roster? I mean, every stream has been there. I will have a video out detailing everything uh, at some point. So, as we play Tampa, we lose seven to two. Oh my god. Yeah, honestly, I think I think we're gonna keep trades off because I want to leave our roster the same. That's the fun in inheriting a roster like this is we are kind of condemned to good luck. So, trades and all that will start as of the draft. That is the official game plan. So, how am I liking it so far? Ask me at the end of the season. <laughs> at this rate, ask me at the end of the season because we might end up getting a punishment that uh, hasn't yet been decided. I am going to leave it up to you guys to decide essentially what goes on to a wheel spin to say, hey, here's your punishment. So. Oh, goodness. All right, we play the Islanders. Jeff Carter was roughed up, but he's healthy. We do win three. No hey, we got a shutout. We only need nine more. <laughs> nine more. That's it. Fucking Philip Lindbergh is the one to get it. Son of a bitch. We, we were looking... Oh my god, DeMoulin got hurt again. We were looking for 10 shutouts as a team this year. That's our first. It's fucking March. <laughs> it's goddamn March. And we finally get a shutout. Ridiculous. Let's call up Ricola again. Uh, we'll send down Zahorna. There's no way he'll get claimed on the waivers. You notice the waiver claims are on, too. And, um... We haven't had... How'd you say his name? Kinda shut the hell up. I'm not gonna sit here and get lectured. Oh, you said his name slightly wrong! I don't give a shit. I don't care. Alright. That looks fine. We'll keep the smith out. Apparently Wilkes-Barre has invalid lines. Um, it's on the defensive side of things. Let's get Masonius back in there. And that's all well and good. What about the 30 goal scores? I need two in the top six. That I do. Crosby has it. We need one other guy to hit 30 goals to not fail all of our goals and face that punishment. Fucking Jake Gensel's heated up. 20 goals and 59. Jake, for the love of God, save my ass. Please. God, Jake Gensel has been on a tear for the last month. We thought it would be Brian Rust. He's still on 15 goals. For the love of God, let Jake Gensel score 10 more goals. We're only on 59 games played. We need Jake Gensel to save us. Please, God, Jake, save us. As Brian DeMoulin is healthy again. I, Endo, I really wish Hot and Cold Streaks would come back. It was a beautiful feature. It was a beautiful feature. So P.O. Joseph's now in a top four role, which means Michael Matheson might have to be moved next year. We're still okay to play Joseph on the third pair for this season. It factors into where they are at the beginning of the year. But there is going to have to be another decision defensively next year. And some of those trades might be very, very difficult to pull off because of the amount of cap that we're talking about. It's Kasperi Kapitan suffers a concussion. That is a problem. Because that likely means... I'm not going to bump up Dominic Simone. Um... Again, I can't call up anybody from McGinn to Pedersen. Rules of the series. We can't use them for this year. So it's either Samuel Poulin or Valtteri Puiston that will get called up here. And it's dependent solely on if Aston Reese can play the right-hand side, and he can. So we are going to call up Valtteri Puiston and uh, give him the opportunity here to get his first few NHL games in. Like I said, this is the main way I can have fun with franchise if it's just very, very rule-heavy. So otherwise, it's just it's too goofy. So, Valtteri, let's see what you can do. I have hopes that you won't be complete garbage, to be honest. Like, he's one of our better forward prospects. I mean, it's only a medium nine, but he'll be usable. I mean, a medium nine does represent one of Pittsburgh's better forward prospects. As sad as that is. Um... 
god, we'll probably... Yeah, let's just bring in Michael Chaput. I fucking hate when it doesn't auto-fix the lines. Are you joking? And again, for this season, I can't just go best lines because I have too many people in the minors that I couldn't get rid of to kick things off. So... All right, three on three. We'll also get Shapoo in there. There we go. All right, so that's set up. That's all well and good. So again, trade deadline we won't have this year. Trades will start as of the draft. Uh, I should just be able to hit continue simming because computer trades are off, so nothing should happen. It's literally just, hey, look who's here. Yeah, so nothing happened. There we go. So officially now, before I even forget, computer trades can be turned back on. From here on out, Whatever happens, happens in terms of those particular trades. So we march on. We're still looking good in terms of potentially being in a playoff spot. We have another back-to-back -back here. It's against the Columbus Blue Jackets first and foremost. We win that 3-2. to two. Crosby's up to 81 points. This, that's been Lindbergh. Man, fucking Lindbergh's been great. Let's give Jari a chance here. Jari needs a win. And he got it. So we'll probably stick with Tristan here up through uh, his next loss. We beat the Rangers. Can we beat the Red Wings? No, we can't. Let's flip it back over to Mr. Lindberg. And let's double check Jake Gensel. Come on, Jake. We need 20 goals. Yes, 24. Six more for Jake Gensel. And we won't face a punishment this year. Thank God. Brian Rust is still on 15 goals. <laughs> oh my God. Puisen has four points in five games. That's awesome. Okay. Right now, it is just, it's a Gensel watch. For the last 15 games or so. We play the Rangers. We win 5-1. Kapanen's back, which is great news. Um, unfortunately, as much as I'd love to keep Poiston on the team, I can't. So, uh, Valtteri will be sent back down. And, uh, we will get one Kasperi Kapanen back into the lineup. Defense is looking okay. I don't know why extras would be a thing. I can't believe they still haven't fixed that. Like, the fact that that's, that's been in for years and it just hasn't been fixed is crazy to me. Shout out to Louis Domingo with 74 appearances. We'll give Alex DiOrio the rest of the games this year. Uh, let's take out Michael Chaput. Get Poiston him back in there. Beautiful. And our final game of the month of March is against Minnesota. And we lose 4-1. to one. So as of the beginning of April, it is April Fool's Day. The season extends... To April 29th. We are currently in a wild card spot at 38, 27, and 4. Nobody in this division can threaten us that heavily. I mean, we're five points above the Islanders. The Devils are probably out. The Jackets and Flyers are definitely out. So the question is again, the Rangers, Caps, and Hurricanes at the top. The question is who's in the Atlantic? We would uh, we would have to screw up. Timo, thank you, by the way. Um, how'd, the, uh, how'd the stream go today, by the way? I got to watch a little bit of it. We'd have to really screw up to let, what was it, the Islanders or the Habs catch us? They're both on 75 points. So we're definitely kind of in the driver's seat here to make the playoffs. The Red Wings, Sabres, and Sens are totally out of it. And then in the Central, it's Colorado, Minnesota, St. Louis. Nashville and Winnipeg occupy the wildcard spots. Chicago has a chance... Uh, Dallas and Arizona are way out of it. And in the, um, well, no, not the Metro, the Pacific, you have Vegas, Edmonton, and Vancouver, and then those guys have to have wildcard spots. It takes 74 points to get wildcard spots, so San Jose, Seattle, Calgary are in a rough spot. Anaheim and L.A. are way out of it at this point. So Toronto right now, number one team in the league. L.A. very much in the basement in the basement for our team Gensel needs just five more goals it is Jake Gensel watch for five more goals to at least avoid a punishment for season one 
Aside from that, I can't say I'm overly happy with Gino. Sucks about the Vancouver file. It wasn't going to be a long-term run anyway. Um, but I probably won't put it up on YouTube now because it's just like a day's worth of simming and then I had to stop. So I still could, but eh. Man, our secondary scoring has been pretty shit this year. In terms of a general point, since we got a lot of dudes who are over 10 goals, uh, which is nice. Drew O'Connor, I don't know if he'll be back as a fourth liner next year. We'll see. Defensively, Latang couldn't keep up the pace. Our only chance of not getting a punishment in Season 1. What a season for Mark Friedman, by the way. Our only chance of not getting a punishment in Season 1 is if Jake Gensel hits the 30-goal mark. And even then, that's not great. It will allow us to sign a coach or a scout. That's it. Um, but it's it's still problematic. Man, what a season for Philip Lindbergh, too. He got roughed up in that first game. But he's been great. Uh, Brad Marsha on still leading the NHL in points. My God. Crosby's second. Pacioretty, Matthews, Ovi, Dreisaitl, McDavid, Kucherov, and Point. Again, I'd love to get the scoring up there, but look at the goals already. What the hell am I going to do if I bump up the shooting stats? How much How much higher is it going to be? Um, in terms of goal scoring. So, Taimo, what I'm doing is a very rules-heavy series because it's my favorite way to play this. Because otherwise, you know, franchise, it's, it's almost a bit too easy to abuse the AI. So... We've started off in that I have like four coaches, which is the bare minimum you can have, and no scouts. Three goals decided by the chat for every season. If I hit one goal, I get one coach, one scout. Two goals, three goals, you get it. If I fail all three goals, uh, we get a punishment, which could be ha anything the chat decides. Trade away a player, have to acquire this type of player. Whatever, trade your first. Like, it could be whatever. So... We need Jake Gensel to hit 30 goals, or uh, we're starting off this Pens run on a pretty down note, unfortunately. Holy shit, John Carlson. Okay. Sure. It would have taken 59 points. The, the problem here is that Jeff Petrie went off this year. That really didn't help. Uh, and then in goal, Jack Campbell's the winningest netminder here. By the way, we needed 10 shutouts as a team. Robin Leonard has 10 by himself. Uh, top goalie, Shesterkin, at a 927. Hellebuck, a 926. 922 for Campbell. So like I said, like the goaltending is looking good. Um, but it's tough to bump up the offense then because of that. Raymond, Zegers, Boldy, not looking too bad for the rookie race here. So here we go. Final month of the season. It's a full month. We play the Avs at a home and home. Those are the actual X Factors. Those are the actual X Factors. I handed out a lot of X Factors because to me, it makes way more sense than to say, oh, only like 88 overall players and up get X Factors. Like, well, no. Luke Lendenning is one of the best face-off men in the league. He should have X Factors. Like, I was much more, uh, much more kind in handing them out. All right, Gensel. Mm, he needs five goals in ten games. He, he slowed down a little bit. Ah, oh, Jake, please. Jake, please, don't do this. We have ten games left. Gensel needs five goals. Oh, no. We're going to play Jari here. And I think we got to go game by game. I think we have to. It's Washington. At home. Gensel, please, we need five goals. First period, 3-0 Washington. Jesus Christ. Mantha and two goals for McMichael. Second period, we get a goal. It's Brian Rust, you son of a bitch. And in the third, two goals. Carter and Rust. Of course, Brian Rust is going to wake up now. But we do get a pity point at least. It goes to overtime. Um, I'm, I'm going to watch it. Screw it. I'm going to watch it. Again, we're going to go into coach mode. And uh, we are going to see... If one Jake Gensel can get a goal here, please, God, Jake, get the OT winner. Otherwise, it's five goals in nine games, and that also scares the hell out of me. We're wearing the camo jerseys. I think I accidentally hit up, but that's fine. Shout out to Military Appreciation Night. We appreciate you. Goodness. I'm, I'm so worried about whatever potential punishment this could be for Season 1. If it's... 
Because again, it's whatever the hell you guys think of and whatever the wheel lands on. Gensel! Jake, you had it. Oh, you had it, Jake. Oh, you had it. Uh. Jake, please. Crosby, can't win the draw. Come on now. Carlson turns it over. John Marino. Marino. John Marino. Save rebound. Crosby was almost there. Couple good chances early on here. Did I watch the Florida game? I watched the highlights at least. It was crazy. Come on, Sid. Win this draw. Win this draw. Wins it. Marino. Can you get it to Gensel? Crosby. Looking. Nearly snuck it home. We are just uh, pinning them in their own zone. Been overriding and creating a save file every time I play. Yeah, that's what I do too. You never did the goalie colors? Not yet. I don't know why he has those anyway, because it's Sam Sonoff, so it doesn't even make sense. Here's Ovi. Ovechkin plays it backwards. Gensel nearly won the race. John Carlson in the corner. Kuznetsov's with him. Here's Ovi, one-on-one -on -one with John Marino. Ovechkin dangling like a lord. It wasn't even John Marino, my god. It was, uh, it was Sid back there. Here's Sid. Boys at least get the win, but I really need a Gensel goal here. I really need a goal. Jeff Carter. Crosby scores! Let's go. Good shot by Sid. That's right, baby. We're wiggling all the way to the playoffs, baby. Here we go. All right. Well, we get the win. We didn't get the Gensel goal that we needed. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll take the win. We'll take the win. We'll take the win. If we can't get the um, if we can't get the goal that we need, at least get the W. And we did. So I'll take that. I will take that. Man, Sid's shot was so fast, though. Just that quick cut in pulls out to the left. And hit him with the wiggle. Okay. We needed that. It's beautiful. Iceberg, you're looking great. But no goal for Jake Gensel. Uh, more important than making the playoffs is seeing Jake Gensel get five goals here in our final couple of games. So that's a good win for Jari. Lindbergh will be back in. We play Nashville. Here we go. Come on, Gensel, please. Please. First period, two goals for Nashville. Duchesne and Tanner Janelle. Second period, a goal for Nashville. Matt Benning. Third period, we get a goal. It's Jason Zucker. We lose 4-1. Gensel started off this season very poorly. Got on a hot streak. And is now quieting down again at the worst possible time. Eight games for five goals, Jake. I, I don't know what... And you're still thinking about it. Uh, let's put Jeff Carter up there. Let's try something different. We haven't tried Gensel with Carter at all. Carter has to be on the right. Let's try it. Maybe that'll wake up... Uh, maybe that'll wake up Gensel a little bit. We play Columbus. Please, God. Gensel score, please. First period, no goals. Second period, we get a goal. It's Jake Gensel on the power play. We might be down 3-1. Bemstrom, Nyquist, Bjorkstrand, two power play goals. But Gensel scores. Third period, we don't get another goal. Nyquist and Bjorkstrand again. So that's the second game in a row that Lindbergh got pooped on. Nine goals against in two games. We have seven games left. We need four goals from Jake Gensel. We need four. Jake, please. We play the New York Islanders at home. First period, we get a goal. It's Mark Friedman. Second period, no goals. Third period, we get a goal. It's Jake Gensel. Let's go. Oh, we might not be done. Oh, we might not be done. We get the big win there, too. Make the best video game music Woo! 
Three goals in six games for Gensel, please. God, of course this would go down to the wire. Son of a bitch. Socks, hello, how are we? Back-to-back -back games against the Bruins. Come on, Jake. Please, God. The worst part is we don't even know what the punishment is. It's just the punishments. Boy, the webcam didn't like that. First period, two goals for Boston, DeBrusque and Marchand. Second period, two goals. They're both from Crosby. Carlo got the, uh, the other one for the Bruins. Third period, we get a goal. It's Evgeny Malkin. And we go to OT one more time. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. It's it's crunch time, man. It's crunch time. Come on. Please, 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 please. Jake, we are running out of time. We are running out of time, Jake. This is game 77, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go. Crosby v. Vergeron on the draw. Gensel's on the ice. Here's McAvoy. Bergeron, Marchand's also out there. Good defense by Gensel. Marino knocks Bergey off the puck. Gensel having trouble with Bergeron, though. Gets it back, feeds it up to Crosby. Crosby looking. Avoids pressure from McAvoy. Crosby, Gensel, Marchand took it away. Oh, man, so close. It's Marchand. Gets it to McAvoy. I want the win, but more importantly, I need the goal. What a move by McAvoy. Still fighting, and it goes in. Charlie McAvoy hitting him with the wiggle off the legs of, I think, Gensel or Marino in front. McAvoy wins it for the Bruins. Shit. Shit. Okay. That's all right. That was a great game for Swayman, I agree. Damn. Okay. That hurts. We'll play the Bruins again coming up. Crosby approaching 100 points. Jordy Bellarive's back. I'm not too concerned about him. We got five games left. We need three goals. We need three goals. Um... We haven't played the Smith in a while. Let's give him a chance. We play the Bruins again. Gensel, please get a goal. Goal per game and you got it. Less than that. First period. Goalless. Second period. We get a goal. It's Jason Zucker. Marshawn and Bergeron on the power play. We're down 2-1. Apparently we need to change up our power or our penalty kill. Third period, we score. It's Malkin. We go to overtime against the Bruins again. Fuck it, I'm here for it. Another OT against the Bruins in the regular season. I'm here for it. Let's go for it. Gensel, God, please just score, Jake. Just score. We need this. More so than this playoff push. We need the Gensel goal. Crosby to Marino. Here's Gensel. Gets hit off the puck by McAvoy, though. Here's John Marino. Also hit off the puck by McAvoy. Mac is everywhere. It's Marshawn. Against Gensel. Marshawn. Shot rebound. They score. Charlie McAvoy again. Gets the winner. And the Bruins beat us for the second time in overtime. This week. Both OT winners for Charlie McAvoy. Holy shit. And it's another game without a Gensel goal. Fuck. We have four games left. He needs three goals. We play Detroit, Philly, and Edmonton. I feel like I gotta mix up that top line again. How are the shutouts going? I think we have two on the year. Rust and Zucker have actually both done better since we've made that change.
Uh, I don't know what to do. God, Jeff Carter has not been good this year. I know Zucker and Rust have both been better with Malkin. I think we got to reunite Rust and Gensel. And we got to try something different to spark him. We play Detroit. Please, God. Jake, please. At least one. First period, two goals. Carter and Kapanen. Second period, no goals for us. Nemestikov for Detroit. Third period, we get some goals. And Gensel didn't get any of them. Crosby, Latang, and Matheson. I can't drop Jake down to the second line. That's the problem. We win 5-3. to three. We have nearly clinched the playoff spot, but Jake Gensel needs three goals in three games. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Gensel has to be on the first line. I can't play someone lower than the line that they start on for the beginning of the season. Fuck. Let's get Zucker back up there, I guess. I could move Malkin to line one, but we made the exception that he'd be the 2C. He was the only player that got the exception. Uh, because it would have been kind of shitty to have to not play Geno all season long. We'll get Zucker back on the top line. We play Philadelphia. If there was ever a game for a Gensel hat trick. He needs at least a goal a game now. First period. Goal, Jake Gensel, yes! On the power play, he needs two more. Oh boy, second period, we get another goal. Jake Gensel, yes! Come on! One goal in seven periods of play. Third period, two goals, Crosby and Marino. Oh, we beat Philly four to one. We need one more goal against either Edmonton or Carolina. Crosby hits 100 points. We are very close to clinching a playoff spot as well. It's pretty much a guarantee that we're going to clinch. Come on. This is why we do rule heavy. Because it makes every regular season matter that much more than just did we make the playoffs, did we not make the playoffs. We had three goals this year. Three. A defender finishing top five in points. We didn't hit it. Ten team shutouts. We're not even fucking close. And then the other one was two 30 goal scorers in our top six. Crosby has 41. Gensel has 29. Come on, Jake. Come on. We play the Oilers. I didn't want to hit outright play, but God, it would help. <laughs> Free fall, and yes, it is. Here we go. Here we go. Please, God. First period. Goal, Sidney Crosby. Try sidle for, uh, for the Oilers. Second period, no goals. Try sidle pull you every third period. We get three goals. Capping in Crosby and Rust. We're going to overtime. Oh, we're going to overtime. Gensel, please be the hero or it comes down to the last fucking game of the season. Oh, dry sidle hat trick. This is the penultimate game of the year. We play Carolina after this. Please. God, Jake, get the winner. There's no Charlie McAvoy this time. We should be okay. Oh, McDavid wins the draw. CC for Drysaddle. It's CC with McDavid and Drysaddle. That's hilarious. Chipped off a leg. Gensel loses it to McDavid. Drysaddle at the point for Cody CC. Big save by Jari. Of all people, Cody fucking CC was in front. You see Leon Drysaddle on 50 goals this year. Shots are close. <sighs> Come on, Sid, win this draw. And he does. Marino. Don't know why the dog's barking. I'm going to have to go look in a minute. Marino. 
Loses it. Crosby recovers. Crosby to Gensel. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Can't gain the line clean. Dry sidle. Dry sidle. The moves to CC. Big save, Jari again. I gotta, I gotta keep that, that top pair of Crosby Gensel out there. I have to. Again, a shootout goal doesn't count. We need the winner now. Come on, Sid, win this draw. You're a much better face-off man than McDavid. Let's go. Latang's out there now. Struggling against Dreisaitl. Crosby. Bringing it up the ice. Having trouble. Puck to Jake Gensel. Caught on the backhand. McDavid knocks him off the puck. <sighs> Pulley Arby. Turned over. No, McDavid kept that. Good steal by Crosby. Pulley Arby giving him trouble. Pulley Arby in front. Just wide of the post. McDavid takes the hit. Jeff Carter's out here now. Carter. We're having a ton of trouble getting the puck up ice. We can't deal with the pressure. CC to McDavid. McDavid shoots. Big save, Jari. CC. A very tired Crosby's here. Here's Jeff Carter. Trying to bring it up ice. McDavid says no. He's just so fast. CC. Having trouble with... Oh, Carter can't get him off the puck. Oh, Latang gets it back. Now for Evgeny Malkin. Gino. Driving wide, trying to fight off Ryan McLeod. Big battle in the corner. Carter, Malkin, loose puck in front. CC recovers. Almost two minutes gone in this OT. Good hit there. Carter for Latang. Latang looking, shoots. Big save. He had a freaking rocket of a shot. Carter. Back to Latang. Carter shot, save, loose puck kicked out. <sighs> puck dies on nothing. Pull every dies in general. Latang, hold that shit. Get the top line out there. Latang, don't you lose this while that top line comes out. Latang, looking. Latang shoots, glove stop. Latang, Gensel. Can't get the shot off. Latang tried to backhand it on. Crosby for Latang. Gensel's stuck on the offhand. He's got nowhere to go. And a penalty's called. We have a power play. Cody CC called for interference. We are definitely, definitely calling our time out here. Here we go. What a chance. Four on three. Crosby, Malkin. I'm not sure who's in on defense. Gensel's one of them. Gensel to Malkin. Shot stop Smith. <sighs> Damn. I mean, obviously we want to get the win, but man, if Gensel can get this goal. <sighs> the problem is he keeps getting caught on that offhand. Face-off win for Derek Ryan. Russell clears. Four on three for nearly the remainder of this OT. Jake Gensel has this OT period and the rest of next game to score a goal. Otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble. Here's Malkin. Loses it. Good clear. Damn. Offense is struggling to get going. Here's Gensel. Trouble from Malkin. Gensel recovers. Latang. Up for Crosby. Couldn't hold it. Forward play. Get up there, boys. Come on. Pressure. Damn. Gensel for Malkin. Up to Crosby. Sid looking over for Latang. He couldn't hold it either. It's got to be the fatigue factor. Puck cleared again. Gensel recovers. And. You know, EA. Sometimes I don't think I like you. Ross turns it over to Derek Ryan. Save. What is happening right now? My God. Here's Jeff Carter. Now it's Brian Ross. Pass it to Jake. Shoot it. God. That was it. Oh, that was it, Jake. You had it. You had it, man. You had it. You shot it right at him. Come on, Crosby. Get it. Damn it. Tyson Barry on the PK, you'd love to see it. 
Gensel. Regino. 20 seconds to go on the four on three. Malkin. Looking. Malkin. Crosby. Latang. Malkin shoots it and scores. What a roof from Evgeny Malkin. It'll come down to the final game of the season to see if Jake Gensel can hit 30 goals. It would come down to the final game of the season, wouldn't it?